you know, I love my volunteers. You're talking about uh, community leaders, uh, you're talking about neighbors, um, uh, you're talking, in a lot of instances, you're talking about ex-offenders. Recently, the Billy Moore Correctional Center in Overton, Texas, held a banquet honoring volunteers who serve at the facility. Welcome to 2023 Volunteer Appreciation Dinner tonight. Well, my, the motivation is, is to watch and see people, men, be changed. And I go in and I hug the guys and, uh, you know, uh, let them know that I'm there. I want them to feel relaxed. I shake their hand when they come in the door. Well, I think a lot of the reward for me from a faith-based perspective is knowing that uh, men and women on the inside, many of them really do want to change their lives. They're just looking for ways to do it. They're looking for answers. Volunteers are a special breed. They hold a powerful influence that's specific to their unique role. So no matter how good of a job I'd like to do, no matter how good of a job uh, Lori would like to do as the chaplain here at the facility, um, you know, the inmates still know at the end of the day that we're getting paid to interact with them. Um, and with volunteers, they know that that volunteer is choosing um, to spend their own time and their own money to be in here to help them. Coordinating the volunteer effort at Billy Moore is the responsibility of Chaplain Lori Tuttle. My relationship with my volunteers, I would say, is active and it's vital and it's growing. Uh, I know them, they know me, they feel like they can reach out to me and ask for things, so um, I hear them and, and they listen to me, so it's a, good, it's a good relationship. Love my volunteers. And that's what encourages us not only the men on the inside within our programs, but to have the support that we do of the staff and the ward and administration, and of course, Chaplain Tuttle, uh, absolutely incredible. And that makes our life and our work just that much easier. And really, it's a whole team effort.